To me, there's no such thing as a safe airplane. At 30,000 feet, if something comes loose and falls off, it's pretty much over. And look what's been in the news in recent years. Drunk pilots. Drunk pilots. Damn. <laughs> Next time you're on a plane and they come around and take your uh, drink order, just say, I'll have whatever the pilots are having. <laughs>Hey, I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is... Wow! What? Hmm. Hey, is our reaction show? Want to welcome you to the... Dead Comedy Club! Uh, Lane, as president, you want to call this uh, meeting to... Ahem, I call this meeting to order! Order, order, order. Official meeting of the Dead Comics Club has begun. Uh, what is our charter here? What do we do here? And here at the Dead Comics Club, we pay tribute to the great comics of the past who are no longer with us. But they're still killing them. They're still killing them, just like the shirt says. And we found them. We're looking for the next uh, John Panette. And we found the Redneck Panette. Redneck Panette. Redneck Panette. The funniest man in America. Funniest man in America. Mr. James Gregory uh, from the Deep South, Livonia, Georgia. Livonia, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And uh, he comes highly recommended. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we watched his first special. His when he very was first special. It, it wasn't that great. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we were kind of giving him a little bit of a hard time. Yeah. But uh, we started his other special called Beef Stew for the Brain, mm -hmm. 2009. And we just did uh, our first segment. Amazing. Yeah. Good that story. was like eight, nine minutes yeah. of we were rolling that yeah. whole time. Yeah, we laughed through the whole thing. We we're talking about tornadoes. We we're talking about trailer parks. Oh yeah, and the people uh, they uh, they come to come to interview. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Man, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited yeah, about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't like, wait to see what's next. Yeah, we're. This is our first time um, being exposed to Mr. Gregory. He passed away like a month and a half, mm. two months ago. So uh, rest in peace. Thanks for for uh, putting in work, bringing laughter to to the people. Hey, before we do that, I want to give a shout out to, to uh, some people. Hey, so can, one of uh, our viewers. Hey, one of our viewers sent us a picture of a shirt. Like, hey, he's wearing this shirt right here. This is Miss the lovely Mrs. Uh, Angel, Angel. Ledet. Oh, yeah. Angel. Ledet. Angel. 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 Ledet or Lede? I think Lede. Lede? Yeah, I, think so. I don't know. Yeah, like French? French. Uh -huh. Like Pene. Pene. Yeah, Pene. Lede. Hey, Angel. Thank you. Hey, that's I like it. Hey, yeah, look at that. It's Angel, good. Angel, like, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Thanks for wearing our, our, our <laughs> shirt. We want to, before we do our reaction, we do want to give away uh, a free T-shirt mm -hmm. or a mug or something. So uh, what what we do is uh, we look for a subscriber through the comment section. Always looking. Always and looking. Uh, our president here, who needs love and affirmation, he looks hey, through. Hey, don't we all? He looks all... through the comment section, you know, for a good comment, and he just picks one all out. The nice stuff. There's a lot of, lot of nice there's comments no, out there. It's not random at all, right? If it just uh, makes... I, I'm looking for the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. You could kiss up. You could kiss, it's so there, easy. There, 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 there's. It's out there. Yeah. 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 Thank, thank you all. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, you pick someone? You yeah, yeah. Here's one? our winner for today. Ba -da 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 -da. This is Laura Griffin. Laura! Laura Griffin, 6512. Laura. All right, you know who you are. Congrats. Laura. Can you, uh, well, you know what I think of Laura? I, I think of uh, Family Matters. Uh, uh, the, the, the Fam Urkel. Urkel. Oh. As, uh, Laura, you know the voice? Laura was Laura. Wait, Laura was the, the uh, Laura daughter? Winslow. Laura Winslow. Oh, Laura. Yeah, that's yeah, that right. Was, uh, Laura. 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 Okay, Laura, uh, look through our merch store. Pick out something you like and uh, email us here. Tell us where to ship it. Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for uh, tuning All in. Right. Appreciate it. Congrats. Okay, this is uh, this is part two of Beef Stew for the Brain, James Gregory, two thousand and nine. Let's let's All right. have a listen. There's something about bad weather that makes normal people go wacko, especially when it comes to hurricanes. Hurricanes. I know this is a touchy subject because we've had some serious, devastating hurricanes. Mm -hmm. Katrina, one hit Louisiana. Andrew. Uh, ever since that happened, you don't hear comedians either in, on TV or in person yeah, yeah. try to make fun of that situation. Because yeah. the reason is, is the entertainer don't want the audience to think that he 
is insensitive to that kind of human suffering. Mm. But since I don't care what y'all think. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> well, you know, there's going to be other hurricanes. They're going to be on the news. And you're going to be glued to the TV. And keep this in mind now. All joking aside, there's not much we can do about a tornado. Tornadoes are too quick. Yep. There's virtually no warning. Yep. They can show up, do their damage, be gone sometime in less than three minutes. Yep. Yep. Now listen carefully to what I'm telling you. <laughs> but in the history of mankind, yep. there has never ever been, not even once, <laughs> any such thing as a sudden hurricane. <laughs> They form hundreds of miles out over the ocean. They track them for two or three weeks. Every evening on the local television news, the anchor man says to the viewing audience, Look, the hurricane will be coming through your neighborhood a week from Tuesday. And hell, they just wait on it. <laughs> you'll, you'll see some of these people on TV going, maybe the turn before it gets here. <laughs> and, and I hope I'll live long enough. <laughs> For someone a lot smarter than I to explain to me so I can understand the miracle of plywood. <laughs> There's always that one couple. Hell, we ain't leaving. They interview them on the way to Home Depot. If we get some plywood, hell, we can ride it out. What the hell are they thinking? <laughs> when they look out the window and see that convoy of army jeeps, army trucks, <laughs> helicopters, state police, and National Guard, what the hell are they thinking? <laughs> that all those people just couldn't find no damn plywood. But I tell you what, folks, at least in this part of the country, the Midwest, the Southeast, see, we have to deal with the very worst Mother Nature can throw at the human race. See, on the West Coast, California, they don't have tornadoes, and they don't have hurricanes. That's just on this coast. Tornadoes occur in the Midwest, the Southeast. In New England, like Vermont, Rhode Island, they don't have tornadoes. You've heard the expression, it's biblical, and your mother has said it, you've heard it. God never gives us more, or puts more on us than we can handle. That's how come he sends that stuff to us. He would never send a tornado to damn California. <laughs> Hell, then you couldn't deal with it. That's why all they get out there is what I call silly weather. Silly. Limp-wristed weather. <laughs> Like mud, it's like mud, mud, it's damn mud. <laughs> Where else in America would mud be a natural disaster? <laughs> Down here we put big wheels on something and get out and play it. I thought they'd run from me like, here come the mud. You know? <laughs> By the way, you know, I joke about California, I tease them, but they're good folks. I've been out there, they have a great sense of humor. The main reason I don't go too often is the distance. To get to California and get back and still schedule, you gotta fly. Now some of y'all may know already, I've had this lifelong fear of air travel. I don't mind flying, say, once a year, just to catch up on my drinking and my praying. <laughs> Thank you.
To me, there's no such thing as a safe airplane. At 30,000 feet, if something comes loose and falls off, it's pretty much over. It's not like you can go, uh, shh, 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 shh. where's that noise coming from? I'm going to pull off up here and see what that is. And they know it's not safe. That's why they overly brag about their safety features. They seem to be especially proud of their flotation seat. Every single flight, regardless of the destination, they talk about the flotation seat. Even got a video they show the passengers now, where it's located, how to use it, how to get to it, how to strap it on. That's going to save our life if they make an emergency landing in the ocean. And see, psychologically, if they know what they're doing, that makes us feel better just knowing that's on the aircraft. But then if we stop to think, I'm like, well, hell, I'm taking off in Georgia. We're going to be landing in California. There ain't no damn ocean. <laughs> if you want to make me happy, show me a seat that's going to bounce out of a corn seat. <laughs> and look what's been in the news in recent years. Drunk pilots. Drunk pilots. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Who's going to pull them over? <laughs> By the way, next time you get up there, and, they, and next, time you, <laughs> next time you're on a plane and they come around and take your uh, drink order, just say, I'll have whatever the pilots are having. <laughs> they don't like that. <laughs> and let me tell you the true story of how years ago, it just hit me how dangerous air travel can be. Not necessarily is, but can be. And those of you who travel a lot, or travel occasionally on vacation, and go to places like the Bahamas or the Caribbean, anytime they have, we, they fly, have small planes that take tourists from one resort island to another. It's a quick trip, about a 20 minute flight. The plane actually looks like a crop duster. <laughs> Got one propeller, seats 14 people. And they have to know the weight, the weight of everything that goes on board the aircraft before the plane can take off. I had never been through that before. A guy comes up to me with a clipboard in his hand. He says, sir, how much do you weigh? I said, why do you need to know? He says, so we'll know how much fuel to put in. I said, fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. You need all of it. Fill it up. I was 600 pounds. Hell, fill it up. Fill it up. I'll buy. Fill it up. Wouldn't you hate to die in a plane crash because some fat woman lied about the weight? Now, hell, they'll do it, too. <laughs> well, I just would be dead just tell him how much I weigh. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, hey, this, wow. this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Uh, we heard a little bit of the, the California bit. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, the mudslides. The yeah. mudslide. But, mm-hmm. hey, we, you know, we talked. Hey, uh, earthquakes trumps everything, man. Right? Earthquakes trumps everything <laughs> because you don't know when it's coming. Yeah. My friends who moved out here from other places, if they're freaked out that it could happen anytime. Mm. Like they, they're freaked mm. out. Yeah. So well, plus, you know, the news is always saying the the, the big, big one's one. coming. The big one. So uh, he talked about the uh, hurricanes. Like there's no such thing as a sudden hurricane. <laughs> yeah. You know what I was thinking? 
man, they always send uh, like the junior, junior intern uh, guy. Oh, yeah, he's out oh, there, right? Let's go to uh, in his uh, slicker. Joe, Joe right. Johnson, and, uh, and he's it's like, blowing. it's two hundred miles an hour. And yeah, oh, so yeah, bad. yeah. Go back to you, Al. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Fear of flying. He's afraid. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, I don't know how you can be a comic. That's, that's, that's a know? good, that's a good point about, you know, he's flying over land and they're telling him about the flotation device. Alcoholic, uh, pilots. You hear those stories. I don't know. I'll have what he's having. Yeah. Oh <laughs> man. Who's going to pull him over? That's a good one. That's a good one. And then, uh, how much gas should we put it? Fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Fill it up. <laughs> and a woman would rather die than 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 uh, say her real weight. He's like, they'll do it too. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather I die just, than just than tell not. people. Yeah. Uh, we're enjoying the <laughs> redneck net. All right, this is good stuff. It's good stuff. All right. What What do you guys think? You guys out yeah, there? Yeah, let us know. What right, you we're think. Fine. We're finally getting uh, to good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, I apologize for being being kind of uh, critical. Yeah, we were harsh. We we yeah. were really kind of hey, harsh. I like this dude. I like yeah. this dude. We, we we can hang out. We can hang out. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're gonna continue on. Um, tell us what you think. What do you guys think? Well, were we too harsh? Were you too harsh? Yeah. Uh, I know there's other people. I think we were. I think there's other people who are like, yeah, he wasn't that great. Like, what? Hey, th is this changing your mind? Yeah, I, yeah. Like, are, like, are you yeah. laughing like we're laughing? This is like, uh, yeah, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. Yeah. So this is part two. We're gonna do part three All next right. time. So uh, uh, follow us. Tune in. And yeah, yeah I think yeah, it's gonna yeah. get better. It's gonna get better. Laugh with this. All right. Hey, thanks All for right. watching. All right. I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is Wow. What? Hmm. hmm. How much you weigh, Lane? Oh man, I was about 600 pounds. Well, fill it up. <laughs> fill, fill it up. up.